sexual dysfunction in male, we call this erectile dysfunction, is primarily a vascular disorder, meaning a problem with the blood supply um, caused by arteries or veins or whatever dysfunctions, often something which we call endothelial dysfunction. 20 years ago we thought erectile dysfunction is mainly a process of aging or hormonal changes or uh, a result of injuries to the pelvis or the prostate, whatever. We know nowadays that after the development of the PD-5 inhibitors like sildenafil, which is known as Viagra, uh, which works of course for the treatment in many cases of erectile dysfunction, that it's a vascular problem in the majority of cases. So as a cardiologist, this is what we deal with in the heart. So we started getting interested in this vascular problem of erectile dysfunction many, many years ago, and we were part of the initial studies using different vasodilators, treating erectile dysfunction in men and also in women. And then we started looking intensely into the correlation and association between vascular diseases, erectile dysfunction, and heart diseases. And we found actually sexual dysfunction is a symptom, if you wish, and a sign of developing heart failure, among other signs, of course, and is a vascular disorder. So in this context, we started treating those patients. We did, in fact, use stem cells, which had been published years ago from Tulane University in New Orleans by a famous pharmacologist in rat experiments where stem cell injections improved the engorgement of the rat penis. So we started doing that using different sources of stem cells with enormous success. What those stem cells are doing is responding to the environment and then setting up a healing cascade. So if your body has the ability to heal by putting the biologic, it's just going to enhance that. Ideally, we would be, we would be creating an, an optimal environment for these biologics by looking at the biomarkers, by looking at the hormones, by looking at stress. This is not systematically reviewed and examined in, in the frame of large clinical trials, but there is trials showing improvement of, of erectile function more in men than in women, also with anecdotally good success rates.